my lovely Aquarius welcome to your weekly reading weekly energies last week in January 2023 loves and this week we are fully into your season new moon pass through and as well the air energy and you like a majesty feels quite strong and the movement it's so smooth so let's see here loves what we have for you sun moon rising signs and venus what are those messages that come through and what are those blessings to acknowledge as well aquarius mark your calendar january 26 is the day when all the planets are going direct and from january 26 till april loves there's a, a portal when we are can do can move can apply any plans we have you know all the planets going direct feels quite a relief especially for you with the Saturn that have been for quite a long time so let's see here loves what we got for you and how the energies are Ooh, excuse me got a sneeze and this sneeze was for so long in here so let's see here Aquarians what we got for you darlings and how these energies are all right king of cups seven of wands and strength and the beautiful sun yes i feel here for many many aquariuses as you know the sun is in your zodiac sign you are emerging to a period in your life that really feel different than used to yes you overcome quite a lot lately but i feel here you you fight for it you really work hard for it so let's see loves what this is all about and where all this go king of pentacles ten of pentacles five of cups nine of pentacles and ten of cups look at this beautiful energy loves yes there is a an energy here from the past that definitely here felt heavy but you overcome it you overcome it i feel here now you are more grounded than you used to and more secure more confident and definitely here the vibes the energy you are entering are changing quite a time loves quite a time it's kind of it's about time as you see here the five of cups to the ten of cups this is a big shift big change for some of you yes there is something here you needed to let it go which were not easy probably on the emotional way but yes you know you overcome it for some of you you needed to overcome a karmic cycle here regards whatever you do because i feel here could be um, a relationship could be something personal but also could be something work money your pentacles in here the five of cups clarifier ace of wands king of wands another king and ten of swords so yes there is something here happened to you and you know what doesn't kill you makes you stronger does the thing certain plans here probably didn't go the way you you wanted as you see here the only king missing it's your king king of one king of uh, swords and that's okay because i feel here for some of you definitely you want to go through but having this three tens the only ten missing is ten of wands 
and the Ten of Wands picks off, leaving a burden behind, leaving a situation behind that really weighs you down, was really heavy on your shoulders. For some of you, there was too much on your plate. But I feel here now it's kind of like clearing it up, getting stronger, getting better. And indeed, for for some Aquariuses, you you probably needed to get more more insights regarding the situation. I feel here this is something here career wise, work or even business wise, because there is an Aquarius here who. You probably put your emotions ahead your rationality or you've been, you know, dictating yourself or doing the things how you felt, not how you were thinking. So it was very different from what you are built of. But I feel here now it's a different way. It's a different route. The seven of wands here, the devil. Indeed, here, as you know, the strength is only the one with the devil. That was something karmically you needed to fight for. And for some of you, you try to control certain things. Yeah, that's you, loves. And it was very hard. So we don't have the king of swords, but we do have the knight of swords. So I feel here there's something here emotion-wise or action-wise. And the Knight of Swords is just, you know, is the fastest knight of the deck. But at the same time, the, the, knight of, uh, one, the Knight of Swords is the knight who goes quick, goes fast, and one this, one that, but doesn't control too much. So I feel here, you know, when you drive fast... You might not control everything. So that's kind of a big bummer here for some of you loves. Queen of Wands here. And create a lot of drama around this or around your life. But indeed here, you now got over it because having the strength is that karmic cycle or that karmic pattern. Because I feel here it's more of a pattern it's done and over and for some of you may may have a hard time to let this go but not anymore not anymore let's see some insights from spirit thank you spirit thank you five of wands Four of Wands, Three of Swords. That was quite a chaos energy here. And I feel here that chaos brought a lot, a lot of things that were unwanted into your life and neither around you or whoever you encounter. So Page of Swords is here, Three of Wands it's here. Page of Swords speaks of learning a lesson. And the lesson is quite heavy. Don't let others to... It's kind of like don't let others to get in your home. Because nobody needs to know what is inside you. You know, home could be metaphorically could be your actual home because you know everyone discuss or everyone have a, an opinion of how you gotta be happy or how you gotta conduct yourself or how you need to do certain things and that really doesn't fulfill any anything for some of you you try to you know prove you or prove yourself or explain yourself but then the page of swords is kind of like really does we do this page of swords doesn't really speak too much page of swords is more likely looking around 
and see through. So indeed here loves. Now the universe is telling you loves you are overcoming, you are moving forward and most importantly the universe is at your side. The universe is helping you to move on from whatever chaos you were into for whatever chaos you were dealing so now the movement happens and I see you quite far away from all the chaos quite far away yet it seems here for some of you still probably learning how to move forward with the new life or the new energy but definitely i see you more confident more grounded and much better the way you are now than you used to so what's the path right now look like what we need to pay attention to right now lovers our choices are very very important so asking what the past look like what we need to pay attention we have the lovers our own choices definitely define us balance justice with this libra energy really speaks of balanced choices good choices as well for some of you, it's kind of look of the contracts you make from now on. Because lovers also speaks of contracts. Could be legal contracts here with the justice. Whatever it's there, make sure it's something, you know, on paper, black on white. One more card. And your king of swords. Yes. Nine of wands. Here is this nine of wands. But justice and king of swords, this speaks of legalities as well speaks of a lawyer also speaks of being secure with the right documents in your hands for whatever reason is there so you can have it all for some of you might need to have an advisor you know a legal advisor certain things like that but yeah yes loves so for for a course I'm speaking here, you you have you have in your reading four kings. And having the four kings here very strongly speaks of whatever you start now, whatever you are moving into, you will become influential, you will become successful. Abundance comes to you and your career is taking a ride in such a way that you never lived before so go ahead loves it's kind of choose the the safe route because is the fastest and is looking even now feels not the easiest but is the easiest you know, those hidden blessings we hear all the time. That's kind of a thing. It's kind of choosing security over the things that really feels like, you know, wow, wow. And yeah, look at this Rhino Spirit overcoming any obstacles. And we have the 53 watch and wait doing you at the right time for the right moment and the rhino spirit i will read really really quick the messages from the rhino with overcoming obstacles because strength also speaks of your it's kind of the storm is behind we always have the choice to press ahead and rhino spirit strength of offers you the power to break through stubborn obstacles. This animal spirit knows there is more than one way 
to open a path to what you seek. When the rhino spirit appears, you are reminded that you have a marvelous ability to overcome obstacles in multiple ways. By going around them, shattering them with force of clear, deliberate intention, or even transforming them into clouds that drifts away by refusing to allow them to limit you, Apply your rhino spirit with creativity and no obstacle can stand. For you have magic to make and many ways in which to make it. Your power is often, often rhino. Rhino spirit also wants to remind you that when an obstacle appears to prevent you from getting what you desire today, it means that something much better it's coming. Keep that in mind when you consider the nature of the obstacle in front of you now. Great Spirit loves you so much and only wants the best for you. So, you know, sometimes certain things here are not coming we want because there is something better. So that's the Rhino Spirit and that's kind of the energy what we get for you. So lovely Aquarians, that's quite a week for you loves, but that being said, I wish all of you a great week ahead, blessings, and if you really enjoyed this reading, don't hesitate to subscribe, like and share it, comment below, let us know how you resonate regards this specific reading or other readings, and we'll see you next time. Namaste.